The Egyptian Discovery in the Grand Canyon Nubar Pasha was the first Prime Minister of Egypt and served his term from January 1884 to June 1888. He contacted the US Department of State and requested the return of the Egyptian artifacts found in the Grand Canyon to Egypt. He also requested that no more information about the Egyptians ever being in the Grand Canyon be published by the Smithsonian Institution. So it appears the Smithsonian Institution was also silenced or taken over at around the same time giant discoveries were increasing. G. E. Kincaid served in the Marine Corp. After retiring, he worked for S. A. Jordan as an archaeologist. Jordan was sent to the Grand Canyon by the Smithsonian Institution to investigate the information that was reported by John Wesley Powell. The tunnel is presently on a cliff wall, 395 feet above the present flow of the Colorado River in the Grand Canyon. The archaeologist estimated the man-made cave may be around 3,000 years old. The man-made cavern is over 500 feet long and has several cross tunnels to large chambers. I would say this was similar to the tunnels underneath Giza, but this is worldwide. There is an underworld. The man-made cavern was thought to be the lowest level and last Egyptian tunnel built in the Grand Canyon. Since the time of the Egyptian city tunnel creation, archaeologists estimate the Colorado River has eroded another 300 feet lower. The picture of John Wesley Powell and Jacob Vernon Hamblin was taken in 1869. The native knew that he was of Egyptian, European, and Hopi Indian descent. In 1869, John Wesley Powell worked as an explorer and archaeologist for the US Department of the Interior and came down to the Green River to explore the Grand Canyon. This is a gold artifact for the Egyptian king, Kayan, Kahayan, or Kahian, was found in the Egyptian tunnel city in the Grand Canyon that was called Kincaid's Cave. The Egyptian shrine was in the first cross tunnel, is holding Egyptian lotus flowers in both hands. Lotus flowers originated as native flowers in Egypt, obviously relating to DMT. The Egyptian shrine was in the first cross tunnel the very same location that shrines were located in the Valley of the Kings, Tunnel Cities, where Egyptian kings once lived, long before the kings of ancient Egypt began to build pyramids and above-ground cities in Egypt. This is the entrance to Powell's Cave in the Grand Canyon. John Wesley Powell wrote in his report to the government, which he also published in a book, and is as follows. In this canyon, 
A great number of man-made caves are hollowed out. I first walked down a gorge to the left of the cliff and climbed to the bench of the cliff. There was a trail on the cliff bench that was deeply worn into the rock formation where the trail crosses some gulches. Steps had been placed. I could see no evidence that the trail had been travelled in a long time. I returned to our camp about 3pm and my men had found more Egyptian hieroglyphs on cliff walls near to the cave. This shrine is in Powell's cave. He is holding an Egyptian lotus flower in one hand. John Wesley Powell wrote, We explored the cave and found this shrine and other artifacts. That evening, I sent a team member to notify the Smithsonian Institute of our discovery. We continued to survey the canyon and discovered more Egyptian tunnel cities. I estimate in my report that upwards of 50,000 Egyptians had inhabited the Grand Canyon at one time. This artifact was from Kincaid's tunnel, even though many large and smaller images were found in the tunnel. This artifact was an essential discovery for the Smithsonian Institute. It is an artifact for King Akinhaten and Queen Nefertiti. Their ancestors and children's names are on the artifact. Akinhaten was the first recorded ruler in Egypt from 1353 to 1336 BC. His son Setaprin was also an Egyptian ruler in the Grand Canyon and was recorded as a king in Saqqara in Egypt. The meaning of Saqqara is bird city. This Egyptian information means the Egyptian kings came to the Grand Canyon at various times, but also made return trips to Egypt. The rulers of foreign lands. Egyptian urns found in Powell's cave are now on display at the Smithsonian Institute. This is a diagram for the Egyptian writing system when the ancient Egyptians came to the Grand Canyon. It was a school tablet used for teaching Egyptian children to read and write. The animal and bird symbols were used to describe the ranks of the kings on the Egyptian hieroglyphs carved into the cliff walls of the Grand Canyon. It is worth noting, the rectangle box is the Hebrew Ark of the Covenant symbol, and the Pyramid Temple in the Grand Canyon was named the Zoroaster Temple. Here's a revelation for you. It is not Zoroaster, it is Spirit Roaster. Zoo Roaster. The words of Jesus spring to mind, put an end to the pillars of fire and smoke.
the Egyptians mined copper, silver, and gold from the Grand Canyon. There are many ruins of Egyptian metal smelters and furnaces in the Grand Canyon. Even though the Iris Temple in the Grand Canyon is now badly eroded, a few of the ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs are still visible on the cliff wall of the temple. The temple also has an unmistakable entrance. The temple entrance is now closed off. And the National Park Service will not allow any excavations of the pyramid temples. A gold artifact of Amunet was also found in the canyon. The Egyptian legend for Amunet, the secret one, was the only goddess from Egypt, giving this a much darker implication. The Hopi Indians have a god named Tawa. He has a man's face that smiles all the time and has a good heart. In Hebrew, Tawa means to mislead. The Hopi Indians lived on the North Kayabab Rim of the Grand Canyon, the location of the Egyptian pyramids. The Hopi Indians still use a large number of original Egyptian words in their language. The Indians told the Grand Canyon Park Rangers that this peak was the Tower of Ra. But there are only a few eroded Egyptian hieroglyphs left upon the tower. The Tower of Set was built in the Grand Canyon as a burial tomb for King Setapreme that came to the Grand Canyon. But King Setapreme died on a trip back to Shima'u. All the Egyptian hieroglyphs have eroded off the pyramid. The Set Pyramid has a rectangular shape similar to the first pyramids in Egypt. The tunnel complex that Mr. Kincaid found was a burial chamber. The mummies were placed in the burial chamber walls upon large stone blocks. The copper statue found in Kincaid's tunnel was identified as a shrine for Anubis. The dog man, the coyote, the Wendingu. Please share, like, comment, and subscribe for more ancient mystery.